Hey everybody, what's going on? The Montreal Canadiens have played four games since I last spoke to you. The first two didn't go so well and they were ultimately losses, but the last two were very promising and encouraging for what the Montreal Canadiens are building towards with their future. Let's dive in and break down those two most recent victories and some of the positives from those losing efforts over the weekend. Now for the first time in the history of this channel, this video is going to be sponsored and it's sponsored by Betstamp. Betstamp is a sports betting tool and if you're not utilizing it, you're missing out on some potential profits. For example, tonight we're going to go into the application. If you're using this application, you can go in there and use my referral code, which is COOK, C-O-O-K, and you can put that in on the application for me there. But if you go to tonight's slate and you're utilizing the app, Go towards the game, let's say Tampa Bay Lightning against the Florida Panthers, and you can see a list of 12 or 14 different sports books for this application. And what this does for this app is it allows you to line shop. It allows you to look at the highest possible price that you're looking for here, and that would be a minus 115 in favor of the Tampa Bay Lightning on the money line here. But you can find that price in a much better place on, say, Betway, which is minus 105, and that's the highest odds you're going to get for that price. So you're going to want to use the Betway odds in order to utilize the best price possible for you in order to get the best return and bang for your buck. So this application is very useful and it's something that I recommend to all of the subscribers for this channel and anyone also checking out this video. Now let's dive into some Montreal Canadiens talk. Looking at what the Habs did over the last week, it's impossible to not be impressed with some of the performances that some of these young players are putting up right now for the Habs. And if you look as early as the last two games where the Montreal Canadiens defeated the Pittsburgh Penguins and Arizona Coyotes respectfully, how can you not look towards Caden Gooley and say this is not a player that's played just five games in the National Hockey League? He's already playing above 22 minutes per night for this Habs team and leading the blue line in pretty much every important category. This is just someone that's a stable presence on the back end. I personally think he's going to transition into a very, very good number three defenseman in the National Hockey League. Of course, there's the potential that he could be a top pairing defenseman, but you want to be realistic when making these predictions of what they're going to be moving forward. And if you look at what he's done in this small sample size, he just looks so calm and poised out there. He doesn't rush decisions with the puck, and he's always utilizing the proper way to break out a situation from the defensive zone. And he also has a lot more offensive awareness than I think he's given credit for. And his skating for someone of his size is actually very, very strong. So I think these are all tools that he's going to utilize to be a very effective number three defenseman in the National Hockey League. Now I'm not going to go too much into what Cole Caulfield's done over the last stretch of games because he's just doing what he does. He finds ways to put pucks in the back of the net and that's what we've grown to love about his game. He can pretty much score from anywhere in the offensive zone and he just doesn't make life easy on opposing goaltenders. But I want to talk about Uri Slavkovsky and Kirby Dak. Slavkovsky scored his first NHL goal last night and he did so with an elite shot. He just has a very good read for the situation and knows where to shoot from to get the advantage on opposing goaltenders. And he did so from a very nice angle last night. And that's a goal that's a heavy shot. And it's one that's going to continue to be effective in the National Hockey League. You know what it honestly reminded me of? It reminded me of Patrick Laine with the Winnipeg Jets when he used to be there. And he used to come around the corner of the top of the circle and just unload his wrist shot. And now he still can do that with Columbus. And I know he's injured right now. But looking at what he's done in the past, it was just very reminiscent of what Line had been able to do with his heavy shot. And I think Slavkovsky has that similar presence to his game that he's going to continue doing that for a long time in the National Hockey League. But looking at what Kirby Dak does, one thing that's really impressive to me about his young style of game as a center for this Montreal Canadiens team is his vision. I wasn't expecting him to have the type of vision that he does, but his pass on the first goal last night that the Montreal Canadiens almost missed out on because Jonathan Drew and missed a tap in to score that goal and Josh Anderson cleaned up the garbage. The vision that Dak showed on that play was just elite and I don't know how he saw him from that angle because the right play was probably to take a shot from where he was but he snuck around and made that pass to Drew and not a lot of people were expecting it and I think the hockey sense is just really strong with Dak and he's going to continue impressing us for a long time. Obviously the faceoffs are an area that he still needs to continue improving on 
But with the new resources that the Montreal Canadiens currently have, I don't think that's going to be something that's going to continue being a problem for him moving forward. And I do believe that this is going to be a very solid foundational piece for this organization for a very long time. He's already locked up for the next four seasons. I think he's going to continue to grow into that number two line center role with this team. And I believe that's the perfect situation for him to find success behind Nick Suzuki. And obviously it depends on where the Montreal Canadiens draft this year or where they draft moving forward. They can always add another center to the mix and potentially slot each one of those guys down a line further. But for the time being, I think that he projects really well as a number two center in the National Hockey League. That's it for me today from Cook's Corner. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of some of the Montreal Canadiens' young guns through the first five games of the regular season. And if you haven't already, download the BetStamp app and use my referral code COOK, C-O-O-K, and you'll be able to utilize some of the best gambling tools on planet Earth. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.